I feel kind of lost the fact that I don't have a drink because all the last couple of guys have had a couple of drinks and I don't have anything to bring up here as like a little catalyst. But so I'm I'm flipping through uh, the mail that I got a couple of days ago and I got a, one of those sex offender notices in the mail. I don't know if you guys ever get these and I'm looking through it and I was like, wow, Kirkland is having a really hard time. When I saw that it was sponsored by Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> I'm like. You couldn't find like a more you know appropriate sponsor for this or like someone to like put it up there. I'm like, it just seems like a really misguided kind of way to look at it. You know, maybe like Monsanto or you know Blackwater or something like that. Um, apparently, you guys don't read the paper. It's okay. Um, like Monsanto and, and Blackwater. That's kind of like if you if you're not familiar, that's like. Satan putting Hitler on retainer kind of thing like like the, the the first most evil company in the world actually just bought out the second most evil company in the world uh, the funny thing is though about like the pictures that they have you know in, in the sex of our notices like I kind of wonder like do they have like a photo shoot thing for this like do you actually get up there and you're like going back like in high school you know and they're like give me sexy and you're like yeah like no it's a, it's a sex of our notice picture but um, anyway, like the, the, the reason that I know that my friends have the same type of mentality that I do is one of them actually is like, dude, you've got to let me borrow that. I was like, why? He's like, I want to Photoshop it and then put like a picture of one of my other friends and then send it out like as a mailer. So like everybody in <laughs> like, their neighborhood gets that and they're like, oh my God, Jimmy's a sex offender. Like, I didn't know that. What the hell? If you really want to push the envelope, though, you could go out and get like one of those, uh, like, put like Tickle Me Elmo on there. You know, like parents are like, oh my god, Tickle Me Elmo's a sex offender now. <laughs> That'd be like a really hard sell the marketing department at Sesame Street. They're like, okay, so we're going to the new direction now with uh, Tickle Me Elmo. I'm actually going to do like a Blumpkin Elmo, but I don't know if that'll, <laughs> that'll fly. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I love to mess with complete strangers in a very non-violent way like when you're at the grocery store right people get really really defensive even though they don't have to over what they have in line like on the conveyor belt <laughs> like that little you know like the the thing they put down that's like that's their stuff but it's really not because no one's paid for it yet so <laughs> you stand there and you're looking around and you're like start making like little uh, little trays and, and like rearranging the stuff that they have like hey, what are you doing man that's no, it's not yours. It's on the conveyor belt. It's community property, you know? <laughs> Squishing their bread. Like, you just fucked up my bread, man. What are you doing with that? Anyway, um, I don't know if you guys like the UFC or are familiar with it at all, but Ultimate Fighting Championship is kind of like boxing on steroids, right? Like, with a lot more blood. And the funny thing is, you get these guys that are just really pumped up. Like, they're, they're really psyched. You know, they have, like, the cops, like, help guide them down. Like, you know, get out of the way. Don't, don't touch him. And these guys get really, really pumped. Like they're going down to fight someone. There's the smoke and the, and the lasers. And they're like, you know, they got their big flag in the back. The one song, everyone has like their fight song. You know, it's usually like Metallica or some really, really aggressive. Like I'm gonna go and beat this guy's ass. The funny thing is I've never heard someone come down, you know, as they're trying to like prep for it to this song. Ah, uh, me so horny, ah, uh, ah, uh, me so horny. They're like, are we fighting or what's this guy trying to do here? I don't know. I'll stand up, but I don't want to get down and, you know, grapple with this guy. I don't know what he's going to do. Come in like pink shorts, you know, with a little rainbow like flag in the back, rainbow bright backpack. And, like, what's this guy doing, man? Anyway, uh, thanks and hope you guys have a good rest of the night.